Hello everyone, and welcome to this episode of Off the Streets Productions. We are going to try something new for October. I'm going to be doing some urban legends about the current town I live in. As I have been doing some research of Hendersonville for the past few years on and off, I heard some stories and recently reached out to the Facebook community for some local stories and suggestions to investigate. The first one that really caught my eye was the mystery of Myrtle Hawkins, a Hendersonville debutante of the time. She was 17 years old and she was set to be engaged. Here we will go into this story. The story is of a young, good-looking, popular lady in the small town of Hendersonville. She came from a very predominant family in the community and the story takes place in September of 1911. Myrtle disappeared on September 7th, 1911. A Thursday. Her body was found September 12th, 1911, by a small group of boys skipping rocks in Lake Osceola. As soon as they noticed what was in the water, they ran to a nearby home and called the police. Soon after, the police and the county coroner arrived and fished her body out of the water. News spread quickly that she was found and identified. The coroner, after his initial investigation, stated that she did not die of drowning and was not a suicide, nor was there any form of injuries he could find. As a cause of death, she was chloroformed. In the coming days, the coroner did further investigating, including that the death was done by unlawful operation, and the operation did not take place in the woods near the lake, but in a home in the vicinity of the lake, and then the body was dumped by the lake where it laid for two days. There was maggots found in her hair, thousands of them, he stated. Then, she was put into the water no more than eight hours before being discovered. They had suspects and would be brought in soon. More witnesses started to come forward who lived around the lake. They stated they saw Hawkins walking around the lake with a gentleman. Other people stated they were woken Wednesday or Thursday evening in the late hours of the night by a loud scream what sounded like a woman and then by moans and silence. Then... As more witnesses have come along, the coroner and the sheriff's department set out looking for a handful of people to interview. One of these people was linked to a congressman of North Carolina, which I find quite interesting and odd because of how this case plays out. His niece was a nurse in Atlanta and was seen in Hendersonville around the time of the disappearance and murder of Miss Hawkins. Also, which starts coming to light is that the man that was seen walking with her was a possible another gentleman caller. Yes, she was set to be married in a year to a man from Tennessee when they were both 18. And as I'm crawling over these newspapers, I'm starting to see an interesting story being painted here of a poor girl whose life was ended early and tragically. We must remind ourselves that during these times, a woman could not have an abortion Definitely here in the South with its deep ties to Christianity. A girl of her age, pregnant, would be shunned if found out. So the more I read and dig into this, I am concluding that she was this man. She and this man, who we will discuss further here in a bit, had an affair and ended up getting pregnant. And then either her or this gentleman found or had the means to try to perform this operation sadly the operation ended up taking this poor girl's life so to dispose of the body and hope it would disappear and a lot of these suspects and people in question live close proximity to the lake they were also all well connected families in the community which would be able to find the means to perform such an operation with the long draw drawn con- trial and even back then misinformation along with the circus atmosphere of the court proceedings the case still remains till this day unsolved no one was ever convicted and charged of her murder along with the community eventually just swept it under the rug the gentleman that she was seen walking with also had a had a wife and her and the wife had some issues and did not really like each other but thank you for listening And listening to the story of this tragic event in the small town of Hendersonville, North Carolina, which one time shook the community and brought a lot of attention to this small town in the mountains. If you would like to learn more, there is a plethora of newspaper articles, and of course, you are welcome to come up with your own conclusions. But I truly feel that this was a cover-up and one suspect is being a direct relative of a congressman that wanted the attention quickly taken and 
taken quickly and swiftly off of his niece and in the influential families that have been involved in our impact on the community. So, yes, I hope you all enjoyed this little story. Uh, Please like and subscribe. And remember, we're not each other's enemies. Hope you all have a nice Halloween, everybody, and a safe one. Thank you.